Hello, Divine Sunshiners. This is Divine Sunshine coming to you with another client reading. Uh, this is, I'm going to call this the Twin and the Archer. Okay. Uh, we're going to start off. The client wants to kind of know about what is the current energies going on. So we're going to ask the Romance Angels. Ooh, y'all going out of here. Put you right there. Uh, the Romance Angels, what's in heart space for the Divine Feminine for the Divine Masculine. What is in the mind space? Okay, mm, same one. Okay, uh, what is in the heart space of the divine masculine? Mm, same price. What is in my space? Ooh, goody, goody, goody. All right, so. Maybe I'll do this here because I'm about to ask about that. Okay, so now, uh, what's currently in the heart space of the Divine Feminine, uh, which is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation? Uh, she wants to talk to him. Um, some kind of way, the way he's been acting, uh, she needs to get some knowledge about it because here's a tree. Uh, he's kind of been a little kind of, I don't know, he's put some barriers up. Uh, he have not really been kind of returning. Um his feelings like he's listening like he's checked out but he's not but you know like i said in one of the readings before with men you don't never know because sometimes they act like they checked out but they really are uh listening to every word that you say uh i know a lot of times when i talked about divine mask a lot of times he would have kind of like that look and i was like okay um are you hearing any word i'm saying but i know on a deeper level he was taking it all in that was just a way of cover up so that he would not um, be able to hear what I was saying. Uh, not to let me know about his emotions. So he was masking that uh, at that time. Uh, you got your angels here saying, you know, kind of nudging and seeing how everything will turn out. They're kind of watching with a watchful eye. However, they know that uh, this needs to be um, said between you and him. Uh, they're here for guidance as well. Uh, if you need them as far as what the conversation should go means keep it light make sure there's no blame bringing in negative energy with this heart to heart talk uh, and so it's really on your side as a woman because you see you got green on which means the heart uh, you're the one that wants to bring the conversation which is true like I said in your heart you want to start the communication and the ball rolling uh, and at the same time remember they mean keep it angelic means keep it positive how you start off the communications with him in your mind space you have give your relationship a chance uh, you want to work on your partnership uh, right now this twin flame partnership knowing what it is become more into your purpose um, you got the divine light here uh, knowing that you are light workers uh, working together with this common goal uh, just really embracing who you are in your true nature uh, with this uh, so that's what's in your mind right now. It's like you like I want to give this 
relationship a chance but again like i said when i see this car here that means you too have some doubts or some reservations about it you know what it is you have some doubts about it being in 3d you have some doubts about what it is in twin flame because of what you've seen and that's funny because it's mirrored into your heart space uh of your um divine masculine because he's even in his heart is saying he needs to stay optimistic about it uh about the love life uh things it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance uh he knows when he looks at you you have a lot of things to offer uh he knows that with you he does not have a lot of knowledge about things but with you you'll be able to gain that strong rootedness and being able to know uh what the real nature of this relationship is uh so he has to tell himself too he's got to be optimistic so that means you both are mirroring just like twins some doubt he's got doubt about it being optimistic so he don't go into the pessimistic side and then you also have uh doubts and reservations about actually giving the relationship a chance um right now currently however in his mind he's thinking wedding which means he's thinking about making a true um serious commitment uh to something um to you okay so he is thinking about in his mind says because i asked about you so that means he is really thinking about a serious commitment although maybe on the 3d level he's not showing this however this is what is in his mind okay uh i'm gonna ask what is currently in the blocks to you all's uh relationship and romance i'm gonna ask the romance angels clear what are some of the blocks i'm gonna ask what's the blocks for you and what's the blocks for him Yeah, no, that one came upside down. It was a box for him. Okay, for the blocks for you is uh, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, this came in the reverse. Uh, so for me, it's got to be the opposite. So for you, you might be kind of like uh, doubting or really uh, delude, not delusion, I don't like the word, uh, really doubting or not really believing or in disbelief. That's my word. Thank you. Um, so erase that other one. You're like, what? I believe, you know. No, but you are not <laughs> in, in disbelief that you have some family issues that you have to, you're not in tune with. You're kind of oblivious to it, too. That's a better word. Uh, for uh, about you having family issues, but you do, okay? So, uh, I don't know if this is in the past. When I see this here, this let me know it could be some past things or some ancestral things that, or even somebody from the ancestor from the past is trying to help, um, help you to be able to um, make that, um, to be able to make that clearance uh for you uh so it's it's something that's going on uh there as far as uh you having some issues some healing of some family issues okay uh i'm looking at this uh i don't know why i'm saying this it could be with the father okay uh and it ranged from a stage from when this person is this is like a young i say maybe about nine year old eight year old somewhere like that it's almost looking like what i taught like third grader all the way up into almost high school maybe sophomore ish i don't know age wise but i do know kind of looking at kids so whatever's in your teens starting over into right here your eight and nine year old up into this one seven starting up into this that issue started then okay this is what i'm picking up so look back in your past and see i know you're saying but no i don't have no issues but look and see somewhere between that stems the father some kind of way you looked at your father your imagery of how because you remember that your father is your first love 
So in order way how you embrace this, how you affection, I don't know if maybe it was another sister involved that was vowing for attention or they was they your favorite, they were his favorite and you was kind of left out in the cold. One you see is a little bit more clingier and closer to that. Maybe you got an older sister, you're the younger one, and that causes the issue of friction with that. Or this could be the mother... Oh, I'm picking that up. I don't know. Stepmother, younger than your father. She comes in. You're not really as close with the dad because she's he's taking our vow and all the affection. you looking like you're trying to beg for his affection. He's like, Daddy, Daddy. And he's like, yeah, but, you know, she here. I can't really spend time with you like I used to. So something with that. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But this dynamic here, again, I gave you several scenarios. Again, sister... More in favor, favor is the favor, you or the baby, not that much time, or, you know, that one, or it can be reversed that you were the bigger sister and he was more paying attention to the younger one, or or dad remarried, got somebody younger, he more closer to her, and you out there on the outs, or you just got some daddy issues that stem from you being young, from this age, seven to eight-ish to up here to teen years so this is something you got to look into okay that's what i'm picking up all right what's blocking for him is worth waiting for so uh divine time is at work in your life so some men here is blocking him that he's saying no nah, this ain't the right time just yet i know i want to commit uh give your heart a chance you want to have a heart to heart something is blocking it uh, that he's saying, no, this ain't the right time. I want some things to kind of, uh, kind of settle down, and then I can tell what the next step is for me to do. Okay, I'm going to ask the cards. I'm gonna ask two of them. Okay, what is it, Claire, that is making him say he's got to wait for her? Okay. Mm. Okay, two things. Now, I did say I needed two, and they asked for two. Didn't the spirit work with me, didn't it? Okay, so the two things that he's making, he say he's got to wait for divine time, is he got to wait for a new beginning. He say he's got a new beginning and something that's going to give him more courage to say, okay, I can do this. Uh, he's got to become more one with himself. So maybe he's got to balance the masculine and the feminine within him to be able to truly to say, I didn't have a new beginning. It could be a new beginning in the relationship. Maybe he's got to let something go in order to start with you. Okay? It could be financial. could be the three nouns. Person, place, a thing. could be a person. could be a place. could be like job related, where he lives, or a thing. Uh, it could be financial, money-wise. Okay? Maybe codependency. I don't know. But he's got new beginnings. Okay? So he's saying once that clears... Then I'm free to go. He got the word. Uh, he's got the card growth. Uh, personal growth. However, the personal growth was in uh, reverse. So he's feel he's got some personal growth that's maybe stagnant. It's not going the way he wants it to. And so he's like, I got to grow up. Maybe he's got some immaturity on his part. Most of the time, his personal growth, things ain't kind of clicking and coming together. Uh, with him, and that could be again finances, the job not looking right, uh, you know, things a relationship, how he relates with other people is not looking right, and so he feels that he's got to deal uh, with that. Um, so he's got to have personal growth. This right here lets me know he's got to deal with more so his intuition. Uh, he's got to really get stronger into that. He's not strong in his intuitions. How? He gets, receives messages, and he's second-guessing himself. His first mind is telling him to go right, and he's like, yeah, but if I go right, this going to happen. You know, okay, but maybe I go left because I'm used to going left. And his, and intuition said, no, nah, I told you to go right because I can see further than you. Uh, and when you go right, if you go left, the bridge is out. But if you go right, you can keep on going around traffic, and we're still there. It might take you a little longer, but you're going to get there to your thing. You won't find an obstacle in your way if you go left. So that's this, okay? Uh, he'll find new beginnings if he works with this. This is this orange 
which means his intimacy, how he relates with others, okay? That's why I say about that, getting that oneness, getting in touch with his feminine and his masculine side. Uh, that will help to also to bring um, balance, okay? Um, that's something that he's got to work on, okay? Um, in that. Uh, let's see, that one. Um, something about me said I want to do some past, present, and future energies that you all are moving into with this. I think I've shuffled it all together. Clear. What are the past, present, and future energies that um, are moving into? Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Oh, okay. All the angels came out. All right. Nicey, nicey. Okay. I'm missing the stone. Oh, that's the heart. Okay, that's you. Okay, whatever. Mm. All right, so here we go. A lot of angels. All right. Okay, so we got some numbers here. All right, so in the past, you all had the justice. Archangel Ragiel, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Okay, so we got the real twin flame energy. See, so you got the two pillars, the uh, pillars of Solomon, the temple of Solomon, which has the two twins. Uh, that past energy, that's what you all were in. Um, things were fair and just. You all were making decisions. Everything felt right. Uh, and that you all were standing up for your beliefs. Now, it could be a little conflict, which means one had one idea what it is, what it is. But however, this is an eight, which means there was balance. So back then, there was balance. Uh, you had that true twin flame thing so i'm not even gonna say conflict you all doing battles maybe you had some doubts or whatever and then you say okay now nah, uh we gonna conquer this the angels was really helping you and so you find the balance it's true twin flame balance the yin and the yang the feminine and the masculine okay presently you all are now at a uh, awakening Looking at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill is important to be yourself. Okay, so you got awakening. So you're at awakening stage. Maybe he's awakening and really truly understanding what this is. Because like I say, I see here, this is like you kind of iffy. So somebody iffy about what the divine twin stands for. And I told you, uh, it's a lot of responsibility. Was it you or is another reading? Because you're reading through. Um, it comes a lot of responsibility when you're coming for uh, this twin flame thing, you know, it's not an easy peasy journey. Uh, things don't come uh, as easily as if you was in a, just a regular soulmate or regular romantic uh, things. You know, this is a partnership, and so you got to really work at that. Uh, he's also saying he's got to become optimistic. Uh, however, he's got some things he wants to do, some personal growth. So that personal growth goes with that uh, awakening. Somebody has to right now. So both of you all have got to awaken because you got some family issues that you got to awaken to as well. And he wants to do some new beginnings uh, with that. Um, like I said, uh, you got a 12 here. So you got a 1 here is unity. Uh, I mean, coming together, that oneness. 2 is definitely unity. Uh, like the lover's card. And um, you got Archangel Gabriel uh, with that. 
who is really bringing in uh, things. So something tells me, you know, kind of work with some, uh, help me awaken in with, work with music. That's what's telling me. Um, some sounds, some vibrations, like especially like on YouTube, they have a lot of things with chakras where you can be able to um, use music to help. They got some things, that I, I even listen to that, where they got like love, energy, attract love, healing, healing of that feminine side, healing uh, wounds, healing deeper uh, past wounds. So some tells me, I've seen him with the horn, deal with a lot of uh, those special tones, like the uh, alpha, beta, different waves um, that can help to uh, disrupt the the um your energies in yourself that can be able to make you go back to realign so i'm picking that up because you're the one for the reading so i can't talk to him but that'd be nice for both of you all to do that um however the next energy that you all are working into is hermit spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching and self-discovery okay so both of you are the movement that you all are in is um with yourself he already stated that. He's like, you know, worth waiting for. He's already told you that uh, it, it, it's some wait time. This is what's on my mind. I definitely know that I want a serious commitment with you. But I've got some issues that I've got to work on. i got some personal growth. I'm a little immature on something. <laughs> on that, uh, i got to find some new beginnings on some things. Uh, and then also with that the hermit so both of you all are feeling this is the current energy that you're going to do so that's going to be a self-discovery i don't like the word separation but it's going to be some self-discovery that's going to go on about uh yourselves you got to heal some family issues that's a blockage there so whatever it is if you agree or in doubt about it uh the cards state that you definitely do have some family issues about it um with that so you got to look into that um and then you'll find different, you, I see universes there in, there in the background. So you'll find new discoveries about yourself, how the world operates. Uh, this hermit thing is going to happen. Is this, oh, this a planet or what? Is this Saturn? Uh, okay, that's Saturn. I don't know, something about the Saturn. So look and see. I don't know when something about Saturn is in play. I'm not an astrological, uh, uh, astrologist on that uh to see but some with saturn some about the rings i'm looking at that uh jupiter no that's jupiter because you got seven jupiter one of them saturn and jupiter there's not a lot of rings though saturn got a lot of rings um look at to them one of these planets okay um look at to seeing about those it might be moving this might be when this is going to occur Okay, uh, this is a nine. But after you do that, you're going to give birth to a new beginning. And that goes back to what he says, new beginning. So don't get scared. Keep your faith. Keep opti Be optimistic in that um, self-discovery mode that's about to recur occur in your future, what you're moving into. Um, this is good when you just have time to self-discover. So keep that uh, in mind, Okay. Uh, let's look into see uh, what does he want to say to you. Let me see. I want to clarify anything. Uh, personal growth. Uh, no. I did this already. Uh, let's ask Cos about what are the life changes that you two are going through. I think I want to do that clear and then I'm going to ask what does he want to tell you what is the life changes that Okay, nice changes for her. Mm, okay, good. And what is the life changes for? Uh, 
Okay, windfalls. Let's read and make sure before I go into it and see if anything jumps off the page for me. Okay, positive change in your life. This is for you, this divine feminine. A positive change in your finances is indicated by this card, although the newfound abundance may be unexpected. It definitely serves as a purpose in your life. Your prayers for support have been heard and answered, and now it is your role to utilize the windfall in the most beneficial way. Pray and meditate to have the strength to say no to distracting influences that could squander your resources. You have access to divine wisdom to guide your investments so that they continue to support your health, happiness, and mission. Most of all, do not allow any fluctuations in your finances to stress you as you have the power to be at peace no matter what's going on around you. And as they emanate peace, so to you. So to do, you attract all that you need. Okay, so this is windfall. So some life changes you're about to go into is you're going to get in some financial windfall. Some money is about to come in unexpected ways. You're going to transfer. You might become prosperous in different ways in your way, uh, in your life. Does have to always be money. It could be love, whatever, uh, in that form, um, this state of being, Okay. Uh, you got flowers in bloom. Some of your intuition is going to be more powerful. It's in blooming. Uh, so you're going to get fouled with that. Uh, moving. I'm going to read for him. This is the energies that life changes that's going to occur for him. Okay. Okay. I was trying to get dry. I got something for you, though. This card in this case that you are moving into a new home this is a huge change affecting every part of your life on the other hand it is a wonderful way to clear the energy and start anew on the other hand the upheaval can be very disruptive this card acknowledges how much your current or impending move affects you with this relocation self-care becomes even more important take time to rest instead of rushing to get everything immediate completed Keep your normal routines, exercise, and healthful eating. You need your strength and energy for this move. During the adjustment period as well, self-care also includes exploring your new neighborhood and making new friends, changing your workplace, redecorating, remodeling, a second home, a vacation, moving your body through a new exercise program, and an emotional moving experience. Okay, and that's what I picked up too. This could go two ways. This could be him actually moving and relocating someplace else. Uh, this could also, like he keeps on saying, he has a new beginning, personal growth. So he could be moving from one emotional phase into another. Okay, he's transforming. He's morphing into coming from that caterpillar into a butterfly. Uh, that And so with that, he's working on uh, here his intimacy, his uh, sacral chakra. And he's working with his solar plex. And so in order for him to get this person to grow, he, if this and moving on to a new space, he's got to work with these two things and the heart, okay? These two things have to be worked upon in order for him to do this move into this new beginning, okay? Uh, I want to see what do you have to say to him and what does what do you, he has to say to you. Okay, let's ask the angels there. Beautiful. I'm sorry for getting up, but I feel something clear. Okay. What does the divine feminine have to say to the divine masculine? Okay. And what does the Divine Masculine have to say to the Divine Feminine? Okay. All right. The Divine Feminine wants to say to the Divine Masculine, forgive and learn. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this is what she wants to say 
to you. So he's got to learn how to forgive and learn. Something he's done in the past that he's still thinking about. The angels are trying to help and come and guide him to forgive from him. But to him, he looks like he's got that look like whatever he is. He's like, it was really bad. Okay. So, and he's like, you know, this is how I really feel. That I really, if I could, I would fall on the mercy of them or vice versa they need to something they did to him that was really bad and he said i really wish they would come and this fall and this fall down and just say i just beg your forgiveness for something that i had done so this is what he's saying uh he's got to learn how to forgive that okay um so i don't know this is male energy so uh i don't know uh it's on his part that that's what you feel that he would be able to say that to you because that's what you're saying okay this is all male but he's saying i'm thinking and i'm just thinking you know it's just really bad and you wishing that also he would just fall down uh upon that or again you've seen something that your divine masculine done and he's like you know he's just sitting there and he's like he's looking at him saying look like whatever it is you're not getting over it you still kind of harboring and holding it he might be, you know, you had somebody had that conversation, said, Lord, if you come and talk to me about that situation one more time about how that person did you, I'm going to scream. And so he keeps playing the victim role. And so this is something that you're telling him. I wish you kind of work on that, heal from that, and get over that, okay? Uh, he's telling you to pay attention to the red flags. Uh, when I see this, the signs I'm costing you. Um what the red flags I see for this is, is that you're not opening yourself uh, to this. Maybe you don't see, like I said, about the family issues. Maybe he does looking at you and seeing that something you need to heal from. This is from the 5D aspect, the divine masculine is seeing this. Um, he's saying, but you're covering up your consciousness. That means you're thinking. You're not really getting to the root of it, the heart of it, to really see that there's an issue that you're not really seeing things for what they are. You're trying to cover up. Uh, and when I see this, this means ego. So the ego is trying to cover and to protect itself. But there is a problem. Uh, your ancestors, somebody in from the background, is trying to help you um, with this. This to me is ancestry. Um, some past, um, somebody trying to help you to heal from whatever this has been done uh, to you. But you're trying to cover it up. So I don't know what this is. But it does say that you're trying to cover it up. And the ancestors say, I know what what went on, but you need to. So I don't know what that has to do. Some say it's tied back to the family issue. Maybe, I don't know. But something was done. And so he's saying, if I, did, I see some of these red flags and it's playing into our relationship. So you too have to got to heal and to deal uh, with, with this. Let me ask the cards just very quickly. What are the red flags? Clear. Okay. Okay, according to this, it's saying again, like I said, you're thinking, you're covering, your ego is getting in the way. It's trying to cover and protect and not letting it really go into it. So uh, what he's saying to you is uh, those red flags is your perseverance. Again, give yourself a chance. What I call that is that you're doubting some. He sees it. He said you got to persevere. You got to get around it. got got rooted in what your heart's desire is. What is your heart saying? Okay, he's saying he's the one to get rooted in it. Do all your actions and your thinking fall in line with that. Okay, that's a red flag because he's saying you're not persevering like you should. Another red flag that he's saying he's saying is that you're following your dreams. You're not following your dreams. I'm picking this up. Maybe it's something that you might want to do in life. You're not pursuing your purpose or your mission. He sees that. Again, whatever it is. The red flag is that you're not doing that because you remember that goes into you find your purpose and your mission. You drag him along as your divine masculine and he contracts to you. Okay. So if you're not on your purpose and your mission, that's going to cause a stalemate into this relationship. So yes, you won't see any forward moving when you say what's currently going on. No, it's not going to be anything because you might be hiding from the outside world, but you know something about our divine counterpart. They can see through all that BS 
and get straight to the heart of it and say, okay, I don't know how you present to everybody else, but guess what? I see the real you. You put all these layers that you want to and cover up as you walk around the world. But guess what? I see you. I see you, boo. And you ain't manifesting what you're supposed to be doing. I know what we signed a contract for us to both come into. And you're not manifesting it. This is your manifesting thing. This is here your higher love. Higher love is what the God, the Spirit, God poured into you to have a higher love to do whatever your purpose and mission is. You're going to find that higher love. So you got to get on the grind and find out what this is and get on it. That's why you say I think you got to pay attention to red flags. You ain't doing what you sent here to do. You sitting on that. Whatever it is, you sitting on it. Okay? All right. That is it. Uh, let's do a nice wrap up. You did not give me a love letter. And if you did and I overlooked it, please, you know, just hit me up and then I will do a special video. But let's do a nice wrap up. Clear. What is the universe uh, has your back want to say for this relationship? I don't remember it. Okay, wake up. You ain't sleeping. That's a lie. Too many. It's one card. Kaha, thank you. You are so obedient. Thank you, angels. Oh, I never seen this before. I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love. I, I just said that earlier uh in my life. Ain't that interesting? Look at that. All seeing eyes. And I just said something about my eyes and my eyes getting dry and stuff. All right. That is a beautiful note to end on. I hope that this helps. Uh, if any of you all that are watching this video, they would like your own client reading. Uh, this was just the overall general energy for the Twin Flame um, to see where their current energies were and where they're moving to. So you can um, get me on my um, website, the www.divinetwinsoul11.com, or you can go to my Instago, which is Go Divine Twin Eleven. Also, I'm on Facebook, Divine Twin Soul, and then also I have a Soul Group. Please join the Soul Group. Uh, I do free readings every Monday. Uh, either I'll go live and just pull cards. Uh, so that uh, those in my group can get just a one card thing. I do that every Monday. I draw a card for every member that's in there until it gets group big, and then I might have to find a different way. <laughs> but right now, we're very small and intimate, and so that works out. So I hope that this resonates with you. Again, this is called uh, The Twin and the Archer, uh, and so I hope this resonates with you. So... Until then, praying for you all is well. The universe is in charge and all is well. That's the prayer I have for this one. So I say, uh, in the meantime, stay inspired, stay motivated, and stay elevated. Namaste. Namaste.